Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of Off Grid Cooking. I'm your host, George, and today we're gonna be cooking skirt steak tacos on the Timbo Tusk Scottle Grill. So first thing we wanna do, we took our, our uh, skirt steak, we marinated it, and I'm using a simple, very simple, you can buy at the store, uh, carne asada from Fry's or Kroger's or wherever you wanna go. So while we have the steak marinating, I'm gonna make my mango salsa. First ingredient, obviously, is gonna be a mango. You want a couple avocados. You want an onion. I prefer a red onion. Uh, I don't, you know, you can use white or yellow. I prefer red because it has more flavor. To... Tomatoes. Limes. A jalapeno. And uh, some cilantro. All right, before we prep the vegetables, I'm gonna get my Scottle Grill started, get it heated up. So when we put the meat on, it, it, it's ready to cook. So I like to use vine ripe tomatoes. They have more flavor and to me, it's just more of a fresher tomato because it's right off the vine. So I cut the ends off. And all you want to do is just dice it up. So the smaller pieces, the better. Just little chunks, just for that nice salsa taste. So you're gonna make sure you take the, the veins out for the, the heat and then the seeds out just for the flavor. You don't really want those seeds and it's gonna make it taste bad if they're inside your, in your salsa. And for the jalapeno, I just make sure I just cut it little tiny pieces just to, you don't want I don't like the overwhelming taste of all that heat, I want my flavors to come from my onion, tomato, my avocado, and my lime juice. Like I said before, I use a red onion, mostly just for the flavor. I think this is, this just has really good flavor. So when you're skinning it, you wanna make sure you get that first, I always go with the first layer. I take that off. So you have a nice clean red onion to dice up. So when I cut my onion, I make sure I go uh, long ways and depends on how far you want to go down how, how much onion you need to use and this is for when I'm when I'm dicing and then you turn it and you want to go the opposite direction of where you were cutting the last time so now you have perfectly diced onion and then when you go down the uh, the side of it everything's already and the little dice pieces. Just a tip I learned from Martha Stewart, so shout out to Martha Stewart. So we're gonna uh, cut up our mango, and there's a certain way you're gonna cut mango, and I'll show you that. Um, the reason why I add mango to the sauce, it just gives it that sweetness with the heat and all the, you know, the, the good savory flavors as well. So inside the mango, there's a, a large seed in there, and you wanna make sure when you cut it, you, you get enough of the, the fruit I like to call it the meat portion of the of the mango. So when you slice it, you just want to make sure that you get a nice portion of the of the uh, the fruit itself. So you can kind of go on both sides and just work your way around the seed. You can see right here that's the seed. So you want to, you don't want that inside of your of your fruit. And then you can go down the other side so you don't waste any of the the mango itself. And it gets a little uh, slippery from the fruit. Just be careful when you're cutting it. But ultimately, you just want to get these nice big chunks. So when you do cut your your uh, your cubes, just you know, just like the, with the uh, avocado, you just want to cut down. You don't want to break through the skin. Just cut a little grids, like you're dicing it. And then when you're done, so 
So now we're gonna chop up some cilantro. It's gonna give it that added fragrant taste. It's just gonna bring out all the flavors in, this, in the salsa and give it a nice little, little taste. So let's just chop this up real little. You don't need that much, just enough to add that extra flavor. But you wanna chop it up real fine. I don't want big chunks of cilantro. I want it to just be more of a, an added bonus to the salsa and not a main attraction. So our last ingredient here is a lime and we're using the juice from it. So you wanna roll it in your hands. What that does, it's gonna loosen it up, get those juices flowing in there. It's gonna make it easier to, you know, get those juices out. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut it lengthwise. And then you're gonna cut halfway through. You're not gonna cut all the way through. Just like that. So we're adding the lime juice because what that's gonna do, it's gonna bring together the mango and the avocado flavor. So everything's in here. We're ready to toss it up just to get all the flavors and mix all this sauce up. Don't be afraid to use your hands, just as long as they're clean. All right, so we have the Scottle Grill is, is preheated, ready to go. So before we put the meat on, I'm just gonna take our salsa and just put it in there, our Snowmaster fridge just to keep it cool. The Timbo Tusk Scottle Grill comes pre-seasoned, but I like to add a little extra. So I have some avocado oil here. I'm just gonna do a little spray. And the reason why I use avocado oil because it has a higher burn rate than most other oils. I'm gonna add my first piece of meat. And I just wanna let that sear up for a little bit. So for the skirt steak, for this for tacos, I like to have it medium rare, but I wanna have that nice sear on, the, on both sides, that nice browning uh, texture. So what I'm gonna do is make sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise the heat up as high as it can go just so I can get that good sear on my meat. So we're ready to flip the meat on the other side. You see that nice seared brown? That's coming in pretty good. So right now we're gonna add the tortillas, get them nice and uh, warmed up. Basically just gonna put them around the grill because it's not that hot around there, so it's not gonna burn them. It's just gonna get them nice and warm for your tacos. So I got some flour here and I'm gonna do some corn on the other side. So my man Raul showed me this trick. You dip the tortilla in the juices, get it nice in there, make sure they're all covered. And that's gonna make those tortillas delicioso. Thank you, Raul. Now we're gonna move the meat over to the side here because it's almost done. And then we're gonna put the tortillas in here just to get them more, give them some more flavor, get them warmer. So we're gonna take the meat off, it's done. Just gonna put it right into the lid, dual purpose here. Bring it right over to the, uh, our cutting board and we're gonna let it rest for about five minutes. Now we're making our tacos. First thing we want to do is add the meat, however meat you want to put on there. Then finally, we want to top it off with our homemade mango salsa. And here you have it folks, skirt steak tacos with a mango salsa, all prepared on the Timbo Tusk Scottle Grill. Mm. Hey everybody, if you enjoyed the show, subscribe, leave me some comments, anything I can do better or anything you want to see. And in the notes, we're going to have all the ingredients and step by step of what I did. Thank you. 
and uh, we'll see you next time.